this is my post fight reaction to Naona Inouye versus Luis Neary. It was a very good fight, man. Neary and Inouye came out uh, being aggressive, especially Inouye. I felt like he was aggressive early in the fight, was not holding back. He was letting it be known that this is the type of fight he wanted to have. And uh, Neary was also ready to have that kind of fight. They were definitely toe-to-toe. -to -toe. I feel like the feet was um, getting a little tangled up early on in the fight. That's kind of what caused a lot of things as far as them tripping over each other and falling. But I definitely feel like uh, Inouye did an excellent job in this fight. Um, just being aggressive overall. But early on in the fight, him being aggressive, man, it made all the difference in the world. It made all the difference in the world. But with him in the first round, he was kind of close chest to chest almost, making different things happen with um with um in, uh, with uh Neary. And when he was close to Neary, tried to let that right hand go, then throw that left hand, and that's what kind of uh caught him off guard and Neary caught him flush on the chin. And it was a very um it was a very big punch on the chin, man. Neary did an excellent job catching him and basically letting him know that um he was going to be in there for a tough fight. He was definitely in there for a tough fight, but Neary did an excellent job um, uh, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him early on. But I think by the second round, Inouye kind of woke up. That knockdown kind of woke Inouye up, and to be honest with you, Inouye's not a fast starter. So for him being a fast starter in the fight, I felt like he actually helped bring action to the fight. Because what well, he could have actually took some rounds off later on and uh, took it to deep waters because he knows Neri hasn't been in the uh, ring as much recently as he he has. So he could have took advantage like that. But him actually starting fast gave uh, Neri an advantage. So later on in the second round, when Neri was trying to let his hands fly like he did in the first, second round, he was trying to chase Inouye down. But the thing about Neri was, he was standing straight up. He was walking forward. He wasn't taking angles. And his feet wasn't on the ground. So the first time he got he, uh, punched by Inouye, his feet wasn't on the ground. He kind of swung around. Similar to what happened to Inouye in the first round. And then um, it was huge because I, that's the first knockdown from Inouye in his career. So that was a pretty big deal. But in the second round, when Neary had got, uh, got caught, Inouye caught Neary pretty badly. And I think that was the fifth time he's been knocked down in his career. And so, um, in a way, did an excellent job kind of sticking to the game plan. He got comfortable. Once he started uh, taunting him and basically letting him know, like, you can come forward and let's do this, uh, let's go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, that's when things kind of changed between Neary and Inouye. That's when uh, the fight became more interesting. I definitely feel like uh, in a way did an excellent job. Just let Neary know, you know, this is my house. Is basically I'm I'm at home and I'm not gonna take a loss. He definitely wasn't gonna take a loss. I think the next three or four rounds, I mean, the th third and fourth round, anyway, he started to pick it up a lot more. Got comfortable, started dominating. Um, I could tell that Neary's his whole just aura, everything was kind of down because he wasn't really throwing that many punches. And he seemed very tired. I don't know what um, caused him. I think uh, anyway, going to the body kind of slowed him down, made him a lot more tired. The speed that anyway was fighting at, it was hard for Neary to kind of keep up with that speed. That's one thing I was kind of worried about was him fighting at that speed and the movement and the footwork and the punch output. His punch output was nowhere. Like, the fact that Neary started dropping his hands around the fourth round, fifth round, that was no good. We're not even halfway through the fight. He was already getting exhausted. And anyway, was working, too. He was, anyway, was pretty tired, too, you know. Not tired, but he was using a lot of energy. He was, he was sweating bullets after the fight. But I also say, um, with this fight right here, it was a good fight, man. We got into the fifth round. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, he let his hands fly, and he called him, with a good shot um, that dropped Neary. And when that shot uh, kind of dropped Neary, it was kind of difficult for him to get up. It wasn't a struggle, but uh, it was difficult. It was very difficult. And that's when, in a way, kind of got comfortable. 
And he was letting uh, Neri know that you can definitely come forward and we can have a toe-to-toe -to -toe fight. And uh, Neri was also telling him, let's come forward, you know, let's fight. And after that, in a way comes forward, he lets his hands fly, and he put he put uh, Neri in a position where he had to try to land. And Neri got wild. He was on the ropes, and in a way caught him with a good left, uh, a left and a right, and he dropped him. Man, that was a good fight, though. That was an excellent fight. I know a lot of people are gonna say in a way got dropped and things like that. Yeah, that happens. Um, in boxing, you get criticized for certain things. It depends, but overall, um, he was going in there with a guy who was a power puncher, with a puncher's chance. Um, we all knew that. But I definitely feel like Neri did an excellent job um, really just showing um, in a way what he can bring to the table. He did an excellent job. But I feel like he did a horrible job the way he fought. His hands was wide. His feet wasn't set. His foot feet went on the ground. The only time his feet were his uh he, he sat on his punches is when he got the knockdown. Other than that, he didn't really get to land anything. He was throwing a right, wide left hook, J just going in there trying trying to throw a power punch, trying to see if he can land. It wasn't a good idea overall, but it worked out for him. And I guess at the end of the day, man, you can basically put two or two together and. You can basically see what, how it turned out, you know. It was definitely a good fight, though. I feel like Neri's, um, like he, like Neri said, man, he's he's not really uh at that level right now where he can kind of compete with it anyway for twelve rounds. And uh, I don't know if he ever will, but that was uh, one of the toughest tasks as far as with anyway being in there with a power puncher. But that's the type of fight he wanted to be in, you know. Inoue is a fighter, so. He's not really uh, concerned that he got dropped in the fight. But it does, you know, in fights, it does show certain things. So maybe him having some kind of struggles in this fight can help uh, the next fighter in another fight. But we will see, you know. At this time right now, it was a very good fight. Uh, Neary is a two-time, two-division two uh, champion. So... It was a good it was a good fight to have, a good win. I feel like Neri was over exerting himself in that fight though. I feel like he was doing way too much than what he should have done. And it kind of showed up and it it basically proved everything that most people thought, but he definitely surprised a lot of people. A lot of people didn't watch this fight. A lot of people will catch the rerun. A lot of people will catch the reruns and the replays and the highlights, but they don't understand that um, it was just a different kind of fight altogether. But I still think it was a very good fight, though, overall. Still think it was a very good fight. Um, but that's all I got, though. Like and subscribe.